up fam, it's your boy Home Team here. I'm back at it with another video of African history, culture, and worldview. Today I want to talk about Memnon. Now in my last videos, I talk a lot about the Greek obsession with these Ethiopians. They would talk about how these Ethiopians were just the blameless Ethiopians. And, you know, a significant portion of, you know, their civilization and their religion comes from these Ethiopians. They love these guys. But here in Western culture, we don't really hear much about that. The Iliad and the Odyssey was pretty much like the Bible to the Greeks. And Homer, in a way, was kind of like Jesus. You know, in Western culture, we appreciate Greek culture and, you know, its language and its, and, and its religion and mythology. But we rarely hear about these Ethiopians. Like, their gods would frequently visit these Ethiopians because they were just the blameless Ethiopians. They just loved and appreciated them. And to this day, I really can't understand that. Like, let's really think about this. Never in the history of mankind has the gods of a certain ethnic group or the mythology preferred another people. Wow. Side note, Greece, thank you so much for loving my Negroness. But apparently Hollywood doesn't share these same sentiments. Because in the movie Troy, one of my personal favorites, our boy Memnon is left out, and we don't really know why. Now, Memnon was an Ethiopian king that came to the aid of Troy during the Trojan War. Now, we all know the Trojan War was pretty much kind of like the centerpiece of Greek mythology. I can understand if Memnon didn't really play a large role in, you know, the literature. But this dude, Memnon, was a pivotal role. He played a pivotal role in the epic and I just can't understand why we never even heard about this dude like I said you know he was an Ethiopian king and Priam Hector's father would talk about how yo Memnon is gonna come help us in this battle against the Greeks and he's just gonna be a beast man I can't wait till he gets over here it's kinda like how you know people have a pickup game in basketball and then there's that one black guy there that's who Memnon was to the Greeks that's who Memnon was to the Trojans. That's who Memnon was to Priam. And so when Heck and so when Memnon finally comes to help out these Trojans, Priam throws this huge banquet and oh my gosh, thank the gods, this dude finally came. Zeus and the gods loved Memnon so much, they compared him to Achilles in strength and character and will and in ability. Apparently, Memnon was just as much of a beast as Achilles was. And so, Zeus himself told the other Olympians, he said, Yo, when, when Memnon gets on this battlefield, I don't want you to touch him. I don't want you to mess with the war. Let's just watch to see what this dude can do. They were excited about it. They were excited about this Ethiopian. Now, let's not get it twisted, y'all. Ethiopians to the Greeks were sub-Saharan Africans, like I say, black Africans. It doesn't refer to modern day Ethiopia. So let's keep that in mind. So these Greek gods just love Memnon and they told him to, you know, not to mess and interfere with the battle. And so when Memnon was punishing these Greeks, the Greeks were just like, they went to Achilles and they was like, yo, you, you gotta handle your boy Memnon cause he, we getting the business over here. And so Achilles is just like, alright, so Memnon and Achilles finally fight, right? And so Zeus and the other gods are so excited. Zeus, he creates, he makes uh, Memnon and Achilles into giants so that everybody on the battlefield can stop and watch what these dudes were doing. Is that not a pivotal role in the literature? How do we not know about this story, guys? This is an amazing dude. Memnon was a beast. And nobody knows about him. And so when Memnon finally dies, Hollywood would probably like that. Zeus is so struck and so distraught over it that he immortalizes him. And in a way makes him a god. And so even today, you know, in Greek literature and Greek mythology, we hear about the legend of Memnon. And in the past, he was worshipped in, in Egypt and in Nubia. And even some Greek priests used to worship Memnon and his image because in a way he was immortalized in the literature and in mythology and in the religion. 
So let's keep that in mind. You know, like I said before, we look up to the Greeks, but the Greeks looked up to Negroes. In our popular culture, we tend to romanticize the Greeks, and we tend to think of it as an Aryan model, or at least it's portrayed as this Aryan nation in a way in which they didn't want any outside influence from anybody and they didn't appreciate any other people. And so we see movies like, you know, Troy or, or 300 that exclude this, the reality of what Greece was, which was a multiracial and philosophical society. But yo, let me know what you guys think. Am I exaggerating? Have you learned something about Memnon? Tell me what you guys think. You already know what it is, man. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.